I know, I know. At this point, you're all saying to yourselves, well, yes, but can they do opera? <laughs> well, we're going to examine the works now of that sublime Italian composer, Yosando Josefini. Josefini came to America from Italy in 1932, and while he lived here in America, he wrote over 500 minute operas, or opera briefos, as they were called in his native Italy. We wrote car opera in San Francisco when we first moved there, and we had this Filipino landlord who we thought was an Eskimo. We didn't know. And we were working on it, and he came over, and he sort of jumped in with us and started giving us ideas and saying he sort of wanted to be in it. Um, and we were just singing and jumping around and it looked like fun, <laughs> so he just stepped in. Joe Bravo. I remember one day we got together and we wrote a whole show because we, and right, you, you'd start talking and then you'd jump up in the middle of the room and, and we'd come back and nobody remembered it the next day. And we would do that so many times. We'd write the stuff and we'd forget because it was so fun to write. A lot of what we were doing was showing off our education, you know, our, our graduate student status taking those kind of classical things that we've heard a zillion times and mixing them up with rock and roll and, you know, like stop in the name of love uh, and putting in a really mundane situation, just, you know, a guy deciding not to buy a car, basically. <laughs> but nothing happens. He's going to buy a car and then he decides not to. The end. <laughs> This particular opera is called Four Hole Buick. It concerns the efforts of a young worker who's trying to buy a car. That's Four Hole Buick by Osando Josefini. <laughs> Let's listen. <laughs> Where's the cars? I want a new car or maybe an Oldsmobile. <laughs> 